Wow, wow, this is amazing. Welcome everybody, Game Dev Agent is a coding assistant to help you make games faster in Godot. Let's go to Godot and have a look at the latest features that we've been adding. All right, so in the previous demo, I showed how you can chat to Game Dev Agent, how it can create notes, help you with your code, read your error messages, as well as create new notes. The new features we've added have to do with modifying nodes, adding sub resources, as well as the ability to attach scripts to a node. Let's do an example. As somebody who comes from a Unity background where it takes only two clicks to create a sphere or a plane, something that I've never liked about Godot is how long it takes to prototype simple shapes. So let's go and see if Game Dev Agent can help us with that. Create a red sphere. So initially you get the instructions on how to create a red sphere. It's generating user actions. And when it finishes, you have all of the instructions so that you can create a red sphere. It even has a script. Uh, but here at the bottom is where things get interesting. This is where we get our actions. So I can click here, create a node. Then I can add a sphere mesh to my node as well as a material. And here we go, we got a red sphere. Now, what if we want to add more things to the scene? Uh, let's go and add, let's add a plane and three spheres of different colors. And as before, we get all of the instructions as well as these actions. So let's go and click them to see if it's actually working as intended. Create node, add plane mesh. Wow, we have our spheres and our plane. Now, what about other types of nodes? For example, nodes are related to user interface. Let's go to the interesting here that I created, UI test, and save, and I'm going to start a new chat. So let's ask it something that we might need when we create a user interface. For example, create a home screen for my game, add text, should say, welcome, add a button that says, um, start game. And I'm going to write no code, so I don't want to post it. I want to give instructions and then give the actions to it. And we've got our here, so create nodes, edit nodes, create nodes, edit nodes. So we've got a welcome, label, and start, and button, and here, but you put them both on the same spot. So I'm going to now ask it to move them. Um, you put them in the same spot. Uh, can you position them correctly? Now, what about something like create a stick figure man using only spheres and um, cubes? Okay, there's a high chance this is not gonna work, so let's try it out. This is a pretty complex instruction. So let's go and create all of these nodes and click on all of these. And we've got our stick figure. I <laughs> can't believe this worked. <laughs> all right, so let's add some color, some materials to it. So I'm going to tell it to add materials to it. And I'm also going to pass it the updated um, scene tree since we've added a ton of notes. And I want to make sure that it's able to reference them correctly. OK, let's try it out. I'm not sure if this is going to work. It's creating some scripts. No, it's not working. Um, it kind of is, actually. It is adding materials. It just tried to create some scripts uh, or some files for the materials, which shouldn't be able to try to do that. Um, but regardless, we've got our colored stick figure. Let's try something a bit more advanced. Create a solar system with two planets of different colors that orbit around the sun. So we get step-by-step -step instructions as well as a script. And then we get all of the actions. And yes, it's a lot of actions. I agree that it would be nice to have a button that says something like apply all that would take care of all of it. But for now, we're going to be clicking on them one by one. The first one should create our script. So let's check that. And the remaining ones are going to take care of all of the different nodes that are involved, their creation and their configuration. OK, so I have no idea if this is going to work. Let's try it out by pressing play. I'm going to make sure that I can navigate around and I'm going to disable the camera. And here we go. So it doesn't look like our planets are moving. And I can see here that the planets were meant to be children of the orbit. So it kind of missed that. Let's try again. And it's working. Wow. Um, it didn't work on the very first prompt. So we, we still had to make changes. Uh, but this pretty much got it done. And I suspect that if I executed this prompt multiple times, it might just work out of the box a few times. Uh, there's a big component of randomness here. 
and I didn't want to edit that out so that you could see what the limitations are with this tool. Um, you can, of course, uh, write follow-up prompts and actions. For example, I could say, now increase the size of the sun. So you can see that we can edit the sun and make it bigger. And it looks like we also have to change the orbits, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that for now. Um, what if we want something else that requires a script? For example, uh, make the sun grow in size over time so that in 10 seconds it um, eats all the planets. So this would be fun. Let's see if it can do it. Okay, so we have step-by-step -step instructions. There's a new script involved. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's create the script and let's assign it to the sun. Next, I'm gonna press play and <laughs> we'll see what happens. Wow, wow, this is amazing. So adding these interactive little things with just a prompt is honestly a game changer. This is just the beginning for Game Dev Agent, and I'm super excited about what we are going to be adding next. If you would like to keep up to date with Game Dev Agent, please make sure to subscribe to the waiting list so that you are going to be notified of new demos, as well as when this tool is available to the public. And it's not going to be available to everybody at first, so make sure to put your email there so that you can be one of the first people to try it out. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.